welcome to this tutorial so in this episode I'm going to be showing you how to uh, create this uh, kind of uh, architectural visualization in Maya I'll be using Maya 2023 but the techniques I'm gonna be using here is also available in uh, uh, previous versions of Maya so there's nothing very special that we are gonna be using it, I just have uh, the, the, the latest version of Maya so if you are interested in into you're interested in uh, architectural visualization this course is probably for you so um, we'll be with we'll this we're gonna be breaking this lesson into into different parts we're not gonna have everything in, in one in one video so we're gonna break them into uh, different parts part one and part two I don't know how many parts we are gonna be creating but uh, in this first part we'll start by blocking in the the um, outside wall of this building and uh, working with scene size i'm gonna show you how i set my scene because in architectural visualization you have to work with uh, real world scale if not you're gonna have some weird looking uh, uh, scene when you render it it won't really look more realistic so when we get into maya i'm gonna show you how i normally set up my scene and uh, let's actually get to maya and get started so to start i uh, first of all i need to set my scene uh, settings to meters uh, you can work with cm maya's default is centimeters but i when doing with uh, architectural visualization like this i like to work with meters so if you go to preference and you click on settings you can see here you can change it to either cm or change it to meters i like to work with meters you can work with cm if you want to so once you click that and if you try to go to maya's grid like this you can see that each of this uh, grid here is actually one cm one 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 meter so let's and once you create let's create some create something like a cube here this cube right now is one meter in width height and in depth so you need to bear that in mind so let's delete that so to start with our architectural uh, building let's bring in the floor plan of that building so what we need to do is let's create uh, something like a plane like so and we are just gonna increase it like that and let's give it uh, a material maybe this Lambert and let's name it floor plan like that so you go you click on this color and you go to file and you click on this so this is the plan that we are gonna be working with so once you do that you can press 6 if you don't see it you press 6 on your keyboard so it's gonna show all right so you can see the size of our building is 13.38 and this one is 13.30 so what we can do is to try to match it more correctly we can actually create a box right there and in this box let's make it 13.38 and in Z we can do 13.3 and that is our our box so um, so what we can do is let me our this is this is our our main uh, this is our floor plan here so we can just bring this probably on top of it and let's just add make it a little bit transparent so when you click and you increase this transparent okay so what we can do now is we grab our our floor plan let's do this from the top view so what we can do now is we can just increase it 
so it is probably like that and we also can increase it that way doesn't have to be exactly the same so but we can see these walls these thick walls they are matching this our our 13 by 13 box that we made i think after that we don't need it we can just delete it so for this our floor plan that we're going to be using let's just drop it down a little bit okay and we can just reference it here you just select it and click on this and then you can click to template and if you click again it will become a reference so we cannot be able to you see when we click it doesn't select it so what we need to do now is to begin to trace uh, this thick wall right here that define the outside structure of this building so let's start with uh, another plane right here and I'm going to reduce all the subdivision to one and then I'm gonna move it right here let me, let me bring it here let's work from the top view which is probably easier so we can just try to match it with our our building here and we can just do that one and stretch it let's stretch this one all the way to the top okay so let's put it right there and what we can do is we go to our multi cut tool which you can find here if you click on mesh tool multi cut tool if you press ctrl shift and click it will add it to your shelf i've already added it to my shelf right here so i don't need this one i will just right click and delete so i just click it right there and you you press shift and if you hover it you can see it cuts across there so we are gonna trace this wall in this direction so what i can do is to just add it like that you press q to exit that tool and then let's go to the the um, edge mode and you click on this uh, modeling toolkit and you will see extrude once you click that you click on this one so it gives you the word coordinate and you can now extrude to that direction you can so i will just put it right there go back to that tool control click q and Control E to extrude, and then you just put it right there. Go back there, Control like so, and Control E. Click on that. You can just bring it all the way right there. Go back again. You can see this is just repeating exactly the same thing so i probably will have to pause the video and complete this because you don't want to watch me do this i'm just repeating the same thing Control e and i extrude it that way all the way to the end right there so i will pause the video from here while i complete this and once i'm done i will be right back okay please stick around so i'm still doing this uh in architectural visualization there's something i just want to show you right here let's extrude this one and bring it that way so you can see we have 
very small uh, word right here so we want to make sure that we add that one right there so i'm going to click on this and you can see that tiny word there i also have it around here so you want to make sure that you add all those tiny details because they're very important so i just want to point that out while i was doing this okay so i'm gonna pause the video and continue with adding this this wall and i will come back when the wall is completed okay so i have gone through and added the outside wall around this building just one lower so this is the final stage here and i just want to show you how i join it you can see when we put it there there's no way to join it here so i just want to show you so to join it right here so what we, what we can do is get back to our tool and you you just click and i think i'm having some issues right there so let's see so we can just shift and drag click and drag like that okay so now what we can do is we make sure it is right there and for this one we also make it fit in right there so now that we know that our walls are the two lines are let me just align this a little bit more properly okay so now that we know they're in the same line so we can just bring this one back so for this one now i can just click here extrude and bring it like so so now we need to join this to what this to uh walls here the potential walls anyway so you can just click select these two vertex and you go to mesh i think it's an edit mesh so i want to merge to center so what it does it it brings two of them to the center and merge them together and this one we're gonna do the same thing i have it here i just click on it so now i can delete this 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 uh, this edge but then if i delete it you can see i have these two these two uh, uh, edges there so let me undo that so for you to delete it for example as i deleted it if i click on uh, vertex you can see i have these vertexes here but there is no edge so one thing we can do is we can select this vertex and delete it that is fine that is one way but the way i like to do it is let's undo and break back that 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 edge so now you can press ctrl and delete so it will delete that and also delete the the vertex you can see we no longer see that okay so that is a good way to do it so what we need to do now i think our wall is we have the foundation made so what we need to do now is to extrude the height of the building so what we need to do is first of all let me delete history delete all by type history and i'm going to freeze transformation click on that and also center my pivot so that i see my pivot point is here but i want it at the center so let's modify and uh, center the pivot it's right there those three commands i use i added them here so when you see me using it you know just i don't want to be going there all the time so let's see okay my foundation is at the origin here so what we can do now is i'm going to remove the transparency on this so what we can do is just click and remove it now what we need to do is to extrude the height of this building so to do that we just go into our modeling toolkits and click on that 
and click on this one and w and then we can extrude this the height so because if you look at our building right here i can see that these doors and windows they are probably 2.5 meters high so our building from here to here is probably 3.5 so what i'm gonna do is i will make the height of the building 3.5 in height so i think this is too too much so let's do it from the side view right here so since each of this grid here is one meter so i can see that this is one two three three point five i think is probably right so this is probably uh 3.5 right there so what we can do is we will probably come back to the next lesson and uh, we begin to block in all these uh, windows and doors that we have here all these windows and doors we begin to define them and uh, probably add some of this the rooftop here that we have so let's come into the next lesson and begin to bring in all those all those uh, add all those details to it and then we take it from there thank you for watching and i'm gonna see you in the next lesson bye bye